What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to Dexstream. Today, thank you to the guys over at EasySMX again for taking a look at the vip 2 s gaming headset. But, what it is, is it's a gaming headset. It is $36 in the States. It has RGB, so let's get into it. So, the again, as per the last EasySMX products, unfortunately the outer packaging got damaged in transit. But, we do have the contents of the box here and that is all that really matters. So in the box you do get your headphones. You actually get a couple of little bits of books and more importantly an audio splitter we'll get onto that in a little bit later so let's go over what these actually have so headset plastic frame it does expand both sides up and down the ear cups themselves they do have some sort of front to back wiggle room just to allow them to fit the contours of your head slightly better okay we do have on this side your right side we do have an rgb knob Ooh, nice big clicky rotary knob if we go over to the other side we do have a retractable microphone and we have a volume button. This isn't an infinity button, there is an off and an on effectively. And a microphone button. We'll get into that a little bit later. Ear cups themselves, faux leather. There's a pair of 40mm drivers inside those ear cups. I must admit, sound quality was quite good. But we'll get onto things like that a little bit later. Nice long braided cable. Terminated with a little plastic junction. And onto that we have USB, which is basically power for the RGBs and a three pole, three and a half mil jack. So this is the sort of jack that traditionally would go into mobile phone or Nintendo Switch. Um, that is microphone and headphones in one plug. If you're plugging this into PC, what you need is the included adapter. And now we have headphones and a microphone. Green is headphones, the red one, meant to be orange I believe, is microphone. Nice and simple, nice to see that included. I reviewed a headset recently from a competitor. Let's just say it was similarly priced and they supplied you just with that and it was sold as a PC gaming headset. Just that is useless. To see that included, great. And the whole thing is nice braided cables, things like that. That is a really nice addition. I like the fact that having it one way around, I don't mind that I have to use an adapter on my PC, but having the options is really nice to see on a cheaper, cheaper piece, uh, piece of kit here. It does mean I do have a Nintendo Switch. I can plug it into that. I can plug it into my phone and do some mobile phone gaming, which is getting massive now, mobile phone gaming. So, inclusions of little things like that, I like. So, I think what we need to do now is, um, and I'll show you off the RGBs. So, as you can see, I have plugged it in here. And, basically, the RGB extends to nothing but two little rings around the cups. And if we take it to the RGB dial, if I scroll it all the way to the back, effectively, we get red. As you scroll it forwards, the colours change until you get right to the front, and now it just rainbow cycles. I actually quite like that. There is, unfortunately, no option for off. Um, I don't know if uh, unplugging the USB would allow it to work. No. Unplugging the USB, the microphone things lose their power, so you do need the USB power um, for some of the features. Bit of a shame, but yeah. Uh, it's better than some options I've seen, where you literally have to cycle through no option. At least we have a, a nice, and we have the option of cycling, I quite like that. So if we take a look at the microphone now, microphone, little plastic boom arm, unfortunately not adjustable in any way, shape or form, just up and down. And you'll notice, if I press that button, okay, there's a little LED there, okay, press the button, the light goes off. There is actually an indicator for the microphone. Um, one small problem. See it. It is unfortunate. It was a great idea. Nice to see them include it. At least have a try. Um, should have been on the top of the arm, or as I think it's HyperX. They put it on the very end here on the tip, which you can see. So if it was on the top, you would see it in your peripheral vision. Unfortunately, it's not. You can't really see it. The microphone is a bit far away from my mouth. Um, it could have done being curved in, but I did find the audio quality um, of the headphones actually uh, for a cheap option to be quite good. They weren't horrible they weren't amazing my usual is a set of nice akg studio monitors and no they don't stand up to that but they didn't sound they weren't distasteful i, I wouldn't complain uh, microphone on the other hand typical cheap gaming headset uh it's fine for gaming i wouldn't want to be it's fine for voice chats things like that i wouldn't want to be using it for streaming really um not the best quality especially not for recording either but for in-game audio more than adequate it is a budget option at the end of the day and i think People, people slate these brands because they are cheap, and oh, you must buy the hundred pound whatever. You must buy the hundred pound whatever. Actually, no. Something like this Easy SMX is definitely a good viable option. It sounds good. okay. It's not got Corsair written all over it or Logitech written all over it, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's quite good. It's nicely padded. It's very comfortable. 
when you put them on your head, the noise isolation is amazing. I can pretty much hear it in nothing. They are closed back headphones. But yeah, build quality is good, sound quality is good. The microphone is just typical cheaper gaming headset. Unfortunately, not adjustable. I think if it was adjustable, it would sound a lot better. But we do have adjustment in the headband. It should fit pretty much every shape, size of human head. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's cheap, it's good. There's nothing, as with the game controller I reviewed from them, there's nothing outstanding about it, but there's nothing wrong with it either. The controller was just a good, solid controller. The headset is just a good, solid value headset. There we go, guys. I think that really sums it up for today. So, as always, if you've liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike, not a problem. As always, if you have any questions or anything like that, do leave them down below. I try and take the time to go through them all and answer them. And if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe button. Don't forget the little notification bell. And I try to be here every week.